Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to go over viewport display options. We'll start with the different display modes, multiple viewports, viewport camera settings, and then we'll finish with customization. In the viewport, if you come into this gray rectangle and you click on it, these are your display options. So in this first section, we have a quick way to align our camera to different view angles. Next, we have perspective and orthogonal. If you go into orthogonal, you'll take all of the perspective out. I don't want to go into too much detail with the other display options. They're mainly for material debugging and optimization. Next, by coming up to view, you can see a list of different viewport layouts. You might want to do this if you're moving an object in one viewport and trying to line it up in another. Next, let's talk about the viewport camera settings by going up to view and down to settings. The settings have three options, field of view, near clip plane, and far clip plane. Whenever you change any of these settings, they won't update in real time. You have to enter the number, hit OK, and then you have to move the viewport and it'll update. So field of view, the lower the number, the flatter it will become, the less perspective it'll have. This might be something you want to do if you want to match the viewport camera to your game camera. In a way, the orthographic view is perspective with no field of view. So the near and far clip planes let you exclude some of the scene's geometry to view or render only certain portions of it in the scene. This is usually used for optimization or performance. As you raise the near clip plane, the sooner geometry will start the cutoff. And as you lower the far clip plane, the sooner geometry will start the cutoff. Let me show you an example of what I mean. We'll set the near clip plane to five and we'll slowly zoom in. And as you see, as we get closer to the geometry, it starts to clip. So the last thing to talk about is customization. And some of this you've already seen, but if you go up to editor and editor settings, general, editors, and 3D, you'll see some of the settings that we just looked at, FOV and the near and far clip plane. And then we also have the gizmo size and gizmo opacity. So whenever you have an object selected and you see like the move rotator scale, those are gizmos. From here, you can change the size of those or you can change the opacity of them. All right, in the next video, we're going to cover playing the project. If you guys like this video, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.